Hey guys, Keith here. Um, I wanted to preview for you a feature that's coming up in 2018.2. Uh, we've been talking to a number of people for some time around uh, how we make uh, creating your models or finding your models a lot easier. Um, there's a number of vendors out there that will sell you uh, Coro type products and wireframe type products, etc. Um, and how do you get those models in much easier today? You can go and search the Facebook file section um, and, of course, the horrific uh, uh, search function that is Facebook means that you'll probably spend a week looking for something in there. Um, or you can go to the Google Drive and a number of people have invested a lot of time trying to make that a lot easier. But we thought we could make it a little bit easier. And so um, after a round of discussions, we've come to an arrangement with um, with James to, uh, to make his products much more available in the X lights. Um, to gain access to it, there's now this new icon over here, which is a download. Uh, you can just uh, select uh, your model and just like the import, you highlight the size of the model. Um, it brings up, uh, in this case, James's store. Um, he's categorized all of his models. Um, you can come down to each model and look at it. You get an image of it. You get a bunch of details here about, you know, how wide and how high it is and how thick it is and how many pixels it's got and so forth. And uh, if you're happy with that model and that's the model you want, uh, you can click on the insert model um, here and it will bring the model into X-Lights for you and then you can play with it and resize it. Um, in order to uh, keep performance up, and particularly because I'm in Australia, um, uh, performance getting to James's site can be a little slow at times. We actually cache a lot of this data, and so you'll find that things like the images and the X model files are kept locally on your machine for five days to try and make this experience a lot better. But when you click on a new product, the first time I've been onto this product before, but this one I haven't. You'll see it takes a couple of seconds to bring up the image and everything else um, and allows you to then go and insert the model. So it's, it really is as simple as that. You come into X Lights and you select the product that you want and uh, browse to it and uh, choose a spider. Wait a second, there it is, and it's downloaded, as simple as that. Uh, if you want to actually see the product um, on James's website, you can just click on the link here, and it will take you straight to the page with all the details, etc., around it. Um, so, yeah, our hope is that that makes um, finding the X model files for your the products that you might buy a lot easier, um, save you a bit of time, save you having to trawl through Facebook groups and Google drives in the hope to find something. I know James is committed to, to getting all of his models available. Um, he is able to update this list um, independent of X Lights releases. So you will see him introduce these progressively over the coming weeks as he goes through. I know he wants to update some of his image files. So I don't think he's happy with all of them. Um, and, uh, and some of the model files may well change over time as he, he finds uh, better model files or better submodels, et cetera, in them. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, and I guess maybe if you've got a better X model file than the one ha James has available, you could always choose to reach out to him and, uh, and suggest that maybe there is a better X model file available uh, for a particular model. All right, guys, hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll cover the rest of the features, including things like our wonderfully uh, newly coloured uh, toolbar in the coming weeks. Cheers.